Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be trying some more things from South Africa. Cadbury's Astros. I do love the packaging that this comes in. I think it's just chocolate little balls. They're sort of like Jaffas or M&Ms or Smarties, I think. I do love the beautiful out of this world design on this package. That's really pretty. And then BAM! You've got them. So it comes in lots of bright beautiful colours, but do they taste any good? of those little Easter eggs that Cadbury puts out with the candy coating on the outside. The chocolate on the inside's really nice. I'm not really that sure about the candy coating on the outside. It doesn't do a lot for me. It's a bit, uh, nothing. But having said that, I do keep going back for more, so they must be good. But what I really love about this is the packaging. That's really cool. It's got the little tiny ridge there, so you can just sort of clip it back in again. And that's actually really well sealed up too. You're not escaping from there. Oh goodness, they stain your hand. That's all right, I always wanted a blue hand. Strawberry Whirls Biscuits. Yeah, I think this dude there makes them. He looks like he's a baker. What's the company's name? Oh, it's actually just called Bakers. <laughs> I'm looking for the baker's name and it is Bakers. There you go. The packaging on it is very simple and plain. It didn't necessarily make me want to rush out and buy it. Yet obviously I have bought it because here it is. Oh, ooh, okay, I thought they were just going to be like a jam filling in it, but it looks like it's a cream and jam filling as well. Got a little hole in there filled with jam. They're two vanilla cookies and they've also got cream there in the middle. Wow. Ooh, wow. They are crazy sweet. But if you've got a sweet tooth, you would probably love these. They're something that I feel older people would love. I would imagine if you go around to your nan's place, you'd probably have some of these in the cupboard. The vanilla cream in the middle is quite sweet. And so is that vanilla biscuit. Like, it's very sugary. My favourite part about these biscuits cookies is that strawberry jam there. That is delicious. But I just think because that jam is really super sweet, that the rest of it should just be toned down just a little bit. But they are very sweet and tasty. Time for a beverage break and today I have a spa letter. It's a spa berry soft drink and when I saw that I actually read it as strawberry. This is actually put out by the Coca-Cola company. Oh. It's a lovely bright red colour and that's now on my carpet. Oh wow, that is bright red. I'm excited about that because I love red drink, you know. Cheers. Wow. Oh, I found a new red drink I love. For those of you who love red drink, this is an absolute winner. It's super sweet and it is a raspberry flavor. This drink is so wrong because it's so tasty, it's so delicious, you want to just keep having more and more of it. And it's bright red and you know it's absolutely jam-packed full of sugar, but I love it. And it's lovely and sparkly too. Willard's Cheese Curls, and these ones are double cheese flavored maize snacks. It's got a good to know thing on the front there, so what's good to know? I'll let you know. So they're baked, not fried, trans fat free, Tracerus Rex, what? Tartrasian free? I actually haven't heard of that one before. Have I been living under a rock? Probably. And also no added sugar. So, I hope these are really cheesy. Have a look. Oh yeah, oh yes. Oh, I can smell the trees straight up, tree, trees. <laughs> I can smell the cheese straight away. They're quite a decent size too, so when you put your hand in to grab some out, you get quite a lot. Look at that, oh. Wow. They're very light and fluffy. They just sort of disintegrate as soon as you put them in your mouth. They are quite cheesy. Not super, super strong cheesy, but they are a nice level of cheesiness. They're crunchy and they're really moorish. They're really quite dangerous. So if you sit down with a bag of these in your red drink, you are doing something horribly wrong and horribly right at the same time. But this would just be pure evil, but you'd love every moment of it. Just make sure you wipe your hands on your pants afterwards. Gotta let everyone else know how classy you are. Wonder Bar Nuts. This is actually quite a small little bar, and I don't know if this comes in other sizes. The outside packaging doesn't do a lot for me, but the inside, you never know. 
Is that wondrous yet? Oh, oh, got a big divot out of it. I don't know what the purpose of the divot is. Is that just a design so you get less chocolate? I think it is. It's nice enough. I just feel like they should rename this bar from the Wonder Bar. It's Choco Nut Bar. The chocolate's quite nice in it. And it's got lots and lots of nuts in there, which is good. So if you really love nuts, you'd love this. Give me a good name for this chocolate bar down below. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a chocolate with nuts in it. I can't tell you anything else. That's it. Wonder Bar. What would you think Wonder Bar should consist of? I would think Wonder Bar would have something exploding in there or some sort of a thing that spurts out. This is sounding wrong. <laughs> more wondrous than nuts and chocolate. It is delicious, but it's just not Wonder Bar. If you want chocolate and nuts, this one's really good. Let me know in the comments below if you're from South Africa and if you've had any of these things before. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.